Hey guys, my name is Nick from 034 Motorsport and today I'm going to show you how to use the advanced launch control features that are now available on the B8 and B8.5 and Q5 and SQ5 with 3.0T engines and A6 and A7 with 3.0T engines. Similar to advanced launch control uh, features that are found on the S4 and S5 B8 and B8.5 and chassis, the ZF8 equipped 3.0T vehicles now have their own advanced launch control features as well. They differ just slightly in how they're used, but the overall concepts are the same. So let me go ahead and dive in. To start, there's going to be two forms of launch control. There will be a soft cut or catalyst friendly launch control version and an ignition cut or test pipe based uh, launch control strategy. One of them is safe and confirmed to be fine on stock catalytic converters. The other one's recommended for test pipe and racing use only. The way to toggle between those two versions comes down to the file that's running on your car. If you're running a non-test pipe file, so a regular catted file, then you won't have access to ignition cut launch control. If you're running a test pipe file, then you can toggle between ignition cut and soft cut launch control via your drive select modes. To toggle between ignition cut and soft cut launch control modes, simply select the various drive select modes. In comfort, it will be your soft cut launch control. In dynamic, it will be hard and ignition cut launch control. Selecting your launch RPM is quite simple, however there are some limitations that exist for the ZF8 equipped cars that are not existent for DSG or manual equipped cars. On the S4 and S5 with the DSG or manual equipped cars, you can launch at pretty much any RPM in the launch range. However, for ZF8 cars, you simply cannot do that as the torque converter is constantly coupled. So when launching with advanced launch control, you have to think about what your stall speed is on your uh, car specifically and set your launch control accordingly. In different cars with different tuning levels, that stall speed is going to be different. Uh, for example, this car here, which is on stage 2 plus E40 with our test pipe file, its stall speed limit is right around 3200 RPM. With advanced launch control disabled, the regular launch control will be able to go all the way to 3200 RPM and push into the uh, drivetrain and load everything up to launch. With advanced launch control, you can then set your launch point to be either at 3200 or in increments beneath it to better optimize for traction at the available time that you're launching. Let's walk through that. First, I'll begin by demonstrating normal launch control without advanced launch features. To start with this, you want to push your cruise control stock into the off position. This disables all advanced launch control features and runs the car as normal. From here, I will go through the normal procedures to engage regular launch control which you start by being in dynamic mode, turning your traction control off, going into drive or sport mode, turn off parking brake, put your foot all the way down on the brake, and then all the way down on the gas, and the car will hold at the maximum launch RPM. As you can see, the car held at the highest RPM physically possible with the torque converter stall that's preset by the transmission and the transmission tune, and held there until you are ready to release the brake to launch. Now I'll go ahead and enable advanced launch control and show you how that functions in conjunction with the base transmission tune. Once you pull the cruise control stock forward, the supercharger cooling fans will turn on and begin to run the coolant pump at 100%. This happens below five miles an hour to increase the amount of overall thermal capacity of the heat exchanger. This helps you when you're setting up for drag racing or in the staging lanes at a racetrack, uh, making sure everything stays cold before you go ahead and do your launch. Once you're above five miles an hour, all of the fans operate, operate under normal conditions. With the car in park or neutral, you can select a various launch control RPMs through the following ways. First, I'll go ahead and pull forward on the cruise control stock and have it show my existing launch control state. Releasing the cruise control stock, it goes back to the actual RPM. With advanced launch control set, you check your RPM and you can make adjustments to it by hitting the cruise control stock in increments of 100 RPM down or up. Currently I'm at 3,800 RPM. We'll go ahead and set it to 3,000. Another way that you can set 
your launch RPM is that with your foot off of the brake, you can rev the car to your desired RPM and hit the cruise control set button. That now will hold the launch RPM there, and by pulling forward, I check that it's been reset. Now that I'm in park, I've set my advanced launch RPM. I'm gonna go ahead and show how that works. With my foot all the way depressed, still in park, I'll go ahead and floor it. I can then go ahead and raise the launch RPM by clicking the cruise control stock upwards and see what that sounds like. Now I'll go ahead and demonstrate the Catalyst Safe Soft Cut variation of our launch control features. Using the Drive Select computer, I'll go ahead and select Comfort Mode and demonstrate what Soft Cut launch control sounds like. The goal of soft cut launch control is to emulate the same sound and noise that you'd find on a full ignition cut launch control, like on our test pipe files, while still retaining safeties for the catalytic converters. We've determined this to be safe when using all stock or high flow catalytic converters, and we invite you to go have a great time with it. Now that you know how advanced launch control works, we'll go ahead and demonstrate it, how to use it when actually looking to launch your car. As I said earlier, there's a maximum RPM that the torque converter can go up to before it stalls out. Even though my advanced launch control might be set higher than that RPM, the car will never be able to reach that RPM. In this car, it's 3200 RPM, so I'm going to go ahead and set my advanced launch control beneath 3200 RPM. In this case, 3000. With my foot on the brake, car in sport mode, and handbrake off, I'll go ahead and demonstrate. It's important to note that if I set the launch RPM higher than the overall stall capability of the transmission, it will not engage the two-step style launch control. So for this example, I'll go ahead and set it to 3600, where we know the stall on this car is 34, and demonstrate how that looks. You'll see that it went to the maximum stall speed without ever reaching the advanced launch control limit that I've set. So when launching with advanced launch control, you have to think about what your stall speed is on your uh, car specifically and set your launch control accordingly. The stall speeds will vary on various cars due to the tune levels as the stall speed is directly equated to the amount of torque that the engine creates. One way that you can easily test is by putting uh, advanced launch control off and burying your foot and brake into the gas and seeing what RPM it stagnates at. That's your max stall speed for the power that you're creating at that time. Advanced launch control primarily for the ZF8 equipped cars is allowing you to best limit traction in the areas in which you may need to reduce your overall launch output. If you have the most grip physically possible, then riding to the maximum stall speed is your best opportunity for the most aggressive and strongest launch. However, if you have traction limitations at whatever track or prepped surface that you're running on, or maybe an unprepped surface, setting your advanced launch control RPM lower than your maximum stall speed allows you to then have more control over the torque that you leave with. When in neutral or in park, you can go ahead and send it to whatever RPM that you would like to for whatever auditory pleasures that may come with that. When running advanced launch control, it's possible that there will be flames coming out the back of your exhaust as it is an ignition cut style launch control program. That inherently means that spark is being reduced so that fuel can still enter and go through the exhaust system and ignite. Uh, we've determined this to be a safe form of launch control through numerous hours of testing and control strategies for how the injection is disabled, uh, slowly metered down, as well as the spark uh, timing being metered down in accordance to that, uh, rather than just cutting everything off entirely. We spend a lot of time making sure that these systems are as safe as physically possible. That being said, we don't recommend that you sit on the launch control for 30 straight seconds as a lot of heat may build up in the engine and cooling systems overall and you'll want things to have an opportunity to cool down a little bit. We'll go ahead and demonstrate what some of those best case scenario flames look like as I know many of you are eagerly awaiting the, that feature.
It's important to note that advanced launch control features are only available when you're running our ECU and TCU tuning in conjunction. Our transmission tune without advanced launch control will still have all of the normal launch control features that any normal car would have, as well as our optimized shifting strategies and uh, launch strategies that are baked into the TCU tune alone. All of the ad advanced launch features that we've showcased here are only available if you're running our ECU software in conjunction. This means the cars such as CREC engines at this moment in time don't have advanced launch control features. However, they can still upgrade their transmission tune to have increased shifting performance and launch control performance. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this. I sincerely hope that you guys all enjoy your tunes. If you have any questions or concerns regarding how to use the files or want to know more, please feel free to email us at tuning at 034motorsport.com or shoot us a message on our social medias at, on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, wherever you may find us.